Hello everybody, a video request, and yeah, I'm kind of doing it on the fly here, but that is what technology exists for. And if you have a video request or need some kind of guidance or wisdom, go to assholeconsulting.com and I'll take care of you. <coughs> uh, a young man writes, I didn't want to be mentioned, Hey Captain, long time fan of YouTube channel and I require your gardens. I'll ma guidance. I'll make it brief and to the point because fuck reading paragraphs. 20 years old, soon to be 21, finished community college with a general associates. I don't know what the fuck that degree is. Someone else mentioned it. Like a general associates. Don't you specify a degree when you go to community college? In the Army National Guard, free tuition in select states with about 500 a month from pay plus the GI Bill. 3000 idling in my savings account. No debt. Work a shitty minimum wage job. Live with parents in Virginia. <clears throat> and want to move out. Here's a problem where I need your advice. I have no idea what I want to do and I'm bored as fuck here and looking to move out. My plan is to do an IST interstate transfer, which means I can go to another state, Colorado, so I'm planning on, yeah, I think you'd like Colorado. I, um, you know, and even if it is, you, at least you're getting out of Virginia to get out of this shithole while also enjoying better benefits. 100% tuition paid in Colorado versus 50 in Virginia. Oh yeah, absolutely. This is where I'm divided. Should I pursue a trade or go back to college? I'm looking at accounting because I can tolerate it and it makes money, but I don't actually enjoy it. I'm getting rambling and off focus now, but what I'm really asking is what the fuck do I do? I for sure want to move out to Colorado and actually enjoy life, but what would you advise for my career? As a final note, I will more than likely enlist active duty military chasing the special forces section when my NG contract is up uh, five, oh, five years. <laughs> Uh, or oh, four or five more years. Graduate general, associate board line, blah, blah, blah. Right, here's the deal. Um, as you know, I'm always an advocate of one joining the military. You may want to think about going full time with the military, but then, oh, they'll get you out of Virginia, don't worry. <laughs> but you may not be in Colorado, though you'll, you'll go where they fucking tell you. Especially if you get into special forces, you, you just go wherever they tell you. If you want to do kind of like the part time military, National Guard, or Reserve, um, I would never give that up anyway, though, simply because it's just too damn good of an opportunity for men in terms of tuition reimbursement. You get to go to the VA. Um, it gives you something to do. It gives you some kind of point and purpose in life. And as I always say before, no one is going to take you as seriously as the military Military does until you're 35. The real question is, what uh, the accounting versus the trade school. I personally would prefer, I'd, I'd recommend the trades over accounting because just a bachelor's degree in accounting, you become a staff accountant. But if you're looking more the military route, that accounting degree would make you officer material. So it really is, it really boils down to like, boy, do you, yeah, and I understand accounting is boring, but, um, but you know, I don't think you'd be working accounting as much uh, in the military. You, you might do some financial analysis or something like that, but you wouldn't be doing the, the boring stuff. But it's still going to be relatively boring. Trades, yeah, it'd be more interesting, and maybe you even get better employment opportunities in the private sector. But you're not, you don't have your bachelor's. You can't go for officer. So I'd kind of let that determine what you want to do. Um, <clears throat> you could always get a trade, and then also get your accounting degree over the course of time, which would allow you to become an officer at some point in time later on. Uh, but ask yourself how much you want to be involved in the military if you want to become an officer. If you want to become an officer, it's almost like, yeah, the, the accounting degree is the way you got to go. Um, and you'll have them pay for it. But if you don't want to become an officer and, and you don't want to do your 20 years and, and uh, get your um, your pension, yeah, the trades, I, I definitely recommend the trades over accounting. Now, that, that depends on what trade you get. You know, Make sure it's like welding or something that's in high demand. And also look at the local area, like... A town that's more like Las Vegas, construction is going to demand a lot more carpentry, electrician type skills than, I don't know, say the Bakken oil field that would need more um, pipe fitters and, and things more of a commercial construction nature. Anyway, hope that helps and, and good luck to you there, soldier. You, uh, but yeah, definitely don't dismiss that military idea. Toodles.